cream with Mimi. Today is a big day. We're going to be making our first HelloFresh right here. See? You. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We'll be making some uh, quesadillas. You now, at this point, you're probably wondering why I'm chewing gum because that is a bit distracting. That's because I hate onions and there's onions in this recipe because they make me cry. No, nothing sad happened. So, we're just going to start with that and get it out of the way. Peel it. Do what it tells me to do. I already washed them because there's all these germs and little off. So now that you've peeled the onion, which you probably always have to do. Actually, no, not probably. But anyways, um, you're just going to, according to the instructions, you're going to cut them in little strips. So I'm kind of starting them off in big chunks and then kind of going to make them smaller because they're kind of already in strips. And it says just save at least a few slices. So I'm gonna use this, this one to actually dice it and not like make it in strips. He's the special fellow. Um, just going to keep cutting it big chunks. Crying is happening. <laughs> so we have successfully finished um, dicing the onion. Actually, this is diced. These are just the, the little strips that it tells you to cut them in. Now we're going to move on to the onion. I mean, not to the onion, the tomato. Now we're going to dice these into little cubes because that's what the instructions say. Um, so I'm going to do it into, into strips. You're probably thinking, oh my gosh, this is crazy. You can't dice when you're in strips. I'm like, hang on. Okay, so once they're in little strips, we're going to form a tomato again. Just going to go across in a different direction. And now you have, well, cubes. You could go smaller if you want, but the ooey gooey stuff inside makes it kind of hard. Always watch your fingers. Okay, so now that two tomatoes later, you have this glorious pile of tomatoes that are tiny and in little tiny cubes, fit for a mouse. So you're just going to move these to the side, and now we're going to focus on our green friend, Mr. Poblano. Now, I don't particularly like this one, these ones. They're not hard, but it's spicy if you don't do this right. So inside, there's a little, there's a like a little core and seeds, and that's what makes it spicy. So if you want it spicy, some people. Um, uh, on purpose or by accident leave some seeds inside So what we're going to do is we you can actually do it like this There see one part of the core out. I'm gonna cut it into little rings And now there's hardly any core left any seeds left And if you want to keep it spicy you could take out some of the seeds or you could leave them in. I would definitely take them out because I'm not a huge fan of spicy things. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one that has seeds in it and I'm going to rinse it. And I'm going to take all of the little seeds out. That way there are none left. Voila, magical. So I went ahead and skipped ahead because I didn't want to take too much time on this. Um, so I went ahead and diced part of the poblano and I left some demonstration just in case you um, we're confused about the dicing part. So what I like to do is I like to cut them in strips. Everything has to start with strips for me. Um, and I just kind of try and keep them together and cut them little by little. And eventually, no matter how many times they'll do this, they'll end up in little pieces like this. So I just gotta keep repeating the process no matter how long it takes till you get them to the size that you want them. If you want them big or you want them small so you don't notice them and you get tricked into eating your own vegetables. Mm. On to our last vegetable that has to be itty bitty. We're going to do our cilantro. Now keep in mind it does, it's not going to come in a package like this if you don't have a subscription to HelloFresh. But you can buy all of this at the store. Um, so. The way to do cilantro, you guys probably remember this from the guacamole video. Check out episode one, it's really good. Um, 
peel all of the um, leaves off of the stems because stems taste awful. Um, <laughs> um, and then once you have all of the leaves off of the stems from the stems of cilantro that they give you, ooh, that's kind of a tongue twister. Um, I'm going to dice them itty bitty kind of like in the guacamole video so we have them in a little mountain right now and we're just going to flatten them out a little bit and start dicing like you do and remember just keep going over the pile until they're small and like mosquito sized bites now we're done with all of our beautiful colors of the rainbow our onions our poblano our diced onions or diced tomatoes and our cilantro diced. Um, so now that we're done with that, we're going to go on to the only one that doesn't need to be tiny, which is this poor lime. All all it takes to cut it into quarters um, is you got to cut it into four pieces. So you're just gonna cut it in half and then pick one half and then cut that in half and then do the same thing to the other one. <sighs> okay little fighter there. We have all of our colors of the rainbow. Um, we're not going over them again. You're going to need a little spoon and, and two small bowl, bowls for the salsa and the crema. Now, according to the instructions, we're going to use for the um, for the salsa. Sorry, there. We're going to take one small bowl and we're going to put in the minced onion, which is just another word for diced. So you're going to gather the onion. Grab as much as you can because it's kind of slippery. Um, and then you're going to add half of the tomatoes because we're going to need them later for the veggie mix. So just kind of like try and separate them. Probably not with your hands because of the virus that's going on. And yet I'm doing this with my hands. Okay, so you're going to have that. And then the cilantro. Tiny, ugh, it's too hard. Tiny little squeeze of lime. There you go. Um, mix it again, and then you have your probably doesn't look that pretty, but you have your finished product of the salsa for these quesadillas. For the crema, we're going to need these little packets of sour cream and this Southwest spot. Fingers can't grab. My Southwest Spice, preferably one fourth of a teaspoon because that's the recipe. You don't want to spice it up unless you're rebellious. Um, so I'm just going to cut this open, squeeze it out like icing. And then do the same to the other one. Cut it open and squeeze it out like icing. Okay. So once you have that all squeezed and kind of like icing, you're going to move on to the Southwest Spice. And I forgot to get a one fourth teaspoon. It's all even, because you don't want too much or something to kind of overpower the flavor. And we're going to mix it together. But since this is a crema and it's supposed to be kind of creamy and it's for the end so you can drizzle it, kind of make it a little more spicy. You're going to add a little bit of a little bit of water at once and mix it until it is at a drizzling consistency. This um it's going to look like a tan color with like freckles almost. Um so we added a squeeze of lime just for flavor, but to give it some spices, we're just going to keep it simple of Keep it simple with salt and pepper. Just grate some in there. Mix it around. And you're going to do the same to the salsa. I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. Um, but it's just a real simple. And personally, I think it's optional. But these two go together. They make everything better. Literally. Now we're going to move on to step three, which is making the veggie filling. So first, we're going to put a drizzle of olive oil. Um, in a large pan, such as this, it dipped, it's fine, it's fine, because it's going to spread out there. <laughs> Anyways, um, so now we have a different cutting board as you can see, but 
we put the poblano and the sliced onion on here and we're going to stir it first. So, and also a pinch of salt, but for some reason, forgot salt. So once you have been stirring this for about seven to eight minutes, um, and it kind of looks a little bit tender and it's starting to pop a little bit, you're going to add in the remaining tomatoes and the remaining um, soft, the remaining soft spice and two tablespoons of water. So we're just going to take that kind of slow. Where did that? Once the tomatoes are softened and it looks like this, hopefully, then you're going to put in some more cilantro. If you have some some cilantro that you bought at HEB or something like that, then grab like a stem or something and chop it. Get some more sour cream and put that in there. And then you're just going to grab the famous couple of salt and pepper and then season it. So this is how it should look once you've added everything in, stirred it. Take a whiff, it smells amazing. Smell that really sour cream. And stir it if you want to, if you're a little bit concerned that it's not like creamy. And it does say that you can add two tablespoons more water if it does look dry. But now we're going to turn off the heat and we're going to take our bowl and we're going to start prepping the quesadillas. So now, now that we have all of this lovely veggie sauce, um, kind of like mixed. We put it in a metal bowl so it kind of stays hot. Um, so we're going to start assembling the quesadillas so we can actually cook them. So now we're going to grab a spoon and put the veggie mixture on there. Kind of like spread it a little bit. Um, keep in mind, don't you don't put too much more than you need because if you put too much, then um, you could end up running low for the second one. You don't want to leave him out, he's important too. Um, so now, once you have all of this lovely and spread, you're going to have a Mexican cheese blend if you have a subscription to HelloFresh. Um, or you could just, you know, grab some cheese that you have and mix it together. Or you can just use regular old cheese that you shredded. You're just going to that. Um, so you're just going to sprinkle it onto the veggie mixture. Maybe a little bit off too, to give it some more of that cheesy effect. Just leave some for the other one. Maybe one more pinch. I'm going to add just a little bit more veggie mixture because I feel like it needs a tiny bit more. There, perfect. Now you're just going to fold it um, like this. Um, and once you have this, you're going to start on the other one and come back to me when you have both done. So you're just going to put the quesadilla on. Um, probably a good idea while you're actually assembling the quesadillas to turn the oven on so it gets heated and ready to go. So we're just going to, going to add the quesadilla and stuff make sure it's all good. You want to let it cook for probably about two to four minutes to, according to the recipe. If you do need more, that is perfectly fine. It's going to be two to four minutes each side. Now, once you have cut these into little tiny wedges, almost like pizza slices, we're going to top it with guacamole. Um, some cheese if you want to, and the salsa that we have made previously. And this is kind of a little much, but you can add a tiny bit of crema if you want. So, like I said, we're going to top it with the guacamole, kind of squeeze it out like icing. Just like that. Like that. And I'm going to put some of the salsa. Just above the guacamole. You can put it on the guacamole if you want to, but I like to put it above. Put one special tomato on the guacamole. And then we're going to top it with a tiny bit of crema. Tiny 
tiny bit of creamer. Creamer, creamer, creamer. Sounds so good. And then a little bit of cheese. Serve it with a lime wedge. And there you have it. These beautiful quesadillas with onions, poblano, and tomatoes topped with salsa, um, guacamole, sour cream crema, and a lime. Thank you.